I've been using AI now for a couple weeks on a pet project of mine, and I have to say that I feel like it made me a worse programmer for a variety of reasons. And I think it's something worth talking about because these AI tools like ChatGPT, Claude, Amazon Q, and others are getting increasingly popular, and we really need to be careful when using them. So let me explain to you what my learning and development cycle looked like without AI before jumping into what it looked like with AI and talk about some of the problems that I identified. So I was recently working on a project where I needed to publish a notification to a Discord chat. And typically how I do this when I don't have any AI tools available to me is I go straight to the documentation, right? I go and look at the docs and I say like, what's there? What's available, right? So this usually takes some time. Um, I check this out. I go and look at all the different APIs, the different integration types, et cetera, et cetera. So I spend some time reading these docs and trying to understand like, how does this new thing work, right? How does Discord work? What are the APIs that are available to me? Which ones are ones that I could potentially use, what are the inputs, what are the outputs, et cetera, et cetera. I then take this information, I kind of absorb it, and then I, I kind of try things out. Maybe sometimes it works, maybe sometimes it doesn't. Eventually, I'll probably come back and you know iterate on this. I'll read the docs again, make some improvements, come back to my editor, make all the changes, and eventually I get this working. The benefit of this is that at the end of the day, I feel like I actually learned something, right? I feel like I now understand how Discord APIs work in this specific case. And if I had a second project where I I need to reuse these different APIs, I feel like I can easily do that. I have a good understanding of how the system works. So this is a good thing. These are transferable skills that I can apply to any other project going forward. So far, so good. So now let's look at what my cycle looked like when I was using AI for this particular project. So same thing again, you have happy little me over here. This time, as opposed to going to the documentation, I was just interacting directly with my code editor, right? I was saying, you know, how do I integrate directly with a Discord API to publish a notification? And what it spits out is an answer, but there's a variety of different ways to do this. And maybe it'll give me one method, it'll give me two methods, it'll give me three methods, and it may actually spit out the corresponding code for each of these methods so that I can actually have it working very, very quickly. Now, I will say that I was able to get it working pretty fast, but I didn't understand why. I didn't understand why it was working. And at the end of the day, sure, I was able to accomplish the task. I was able to publish something to Discord, but I didn't learn anything. If someone asked me in a code review, why are you using this API and not this other one? I wouldn't really have a good answer. And this is where my big problem is with AI tools. I feel like more and more people, especially more newer developers or people that are under a time crunch, are relying on AI tools and not necessarily understanding what they are doing. They're more focused on the output. They're more focused on getting the task done, which isn't necessarily a good thing. You're just able to churn out tasks really, really quickly. But at the end of the day, did you actually learn anything? Did you? Can you actually talk to anyone else about why you made a certain decision? Do you understand the limitations of the approach that you decided and what the other approaches are? For newer developers, this is honestly a huge trap that you can fall into. And I read more and more about this on Reddit and on different social media, on Twitter and on all these different apps of people just having CRs put in front of them by these developers. And it's like, what the hell is this? What is this garbage? And why are you doing it this way? We already have a utility method that does it this way. So I feel like this is becoming more and more of a problem. And honestly, the fact that I was able to get it done pretty quickly with AI, sure, that's a good thing but I feel like I didn't really learn anything. And what I ended up doing at the end of the day, uh, I ended up going back to my old method. I ended up going back and reading all the documentation, realizing that the approach that AI gave me was actually not the approach that I wanted to use. And I just kind of re-implemented it after reading the docs and understanding what the correct method was for my use case. So that's my issue with AI for programmers and how I feel that it made me a worse programmer. If you feel like this is happening to you or maybe people around you, I would love to hear your story down in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.